Hello friends, welcome back to Start. In this session, we'll see a simple use case, but very useful, how to integrate our Gmail with our new soft code. Okay, so you can see on my screen, we have listeners simple payload where the payload I'll be sending as an email body, and then you'll be configuring your uh, you know, email connector over here. So let's uh, jump on to our endpoint studio and show you step by step how to configure our email connector as a Gmail. Okay, from our new song, any point studio. So let's jump on to the endpoint studio. Let's go ahead and create a simple new flow. Okay, and I'll just say Gmail hyphen soft integration. Okay, let me create in the flow. I'm using mule 4.2.0 runtime and I'm creating simple in the flow. Finish. So I can create dummy to this others and three line project inside. So let's go ahead. So first let's drag simple listener. Let's see. Listener, whatever is their default, we take it as it is. And I'll say here same. Okay. Who is my listener? I simply set the payload over here. Message. This message, maybe I'll just remove that. Okay, this is my email body. Now let's go and search for the email current model here. So we can grab the same. Okay, so now we need a connected configuration. So Let's go ahead and use So I add the uh, host name here. The host name will be at smtpgmail.com. So let's go ahead and add that first. But the password, I you know it's a security reason I take it. So you need to you know to get this password. Okay? It's not exactly the same password which you use in the Gmail. So let's go ahead and do that first. So my SM SM TP okay dot gmail dot com and your port number will be always five eight seven five eight seven and user ID I can use my user ID as and now we get this password okay so let's go ahead first and i'll show you the link which we should trigger first we need to enable two-step verification so let's show you guys you go right here you need to enable two-step verification okay so go ahead this is the URL you need to trigger. Okay. Uh, Google.com landing two steps. Get started. You can say get started here. Okay. Pass here. Password. So your two-step verification is already enabled. Okay. Now, so first step is done. Your two-step verification is enabled. Now step number two, we need to get the to get the and tell you. So we need to get the app password now. 
to generate the SMTP password, we need to use this URL. Let's go ahead and enter this URL. I'll give this both the URLs in the description below. So add password. Again, we need to pass the password here. Go back. So I pause the video here for security reason. I cannot show the how the app password looks like. Okay. So I'll take a pause and then copy. So here you can select the app which is your mail and then select the device which is your Windows, not phone, should be Windows computer. Okay. Once you click on generate, it will generate a password for you. So I'll take a pause over here. I'll stop the video and copy the password and then I'll paste it here. Okay. So you will get this screen text from here. You can copy the password and you can paste it here. Okay, now say okay. Now here you need to pass the your two address. So I'm going to say give you nine. Okay, add it. So you need two address, you pass it here. So I just pass, you know. Dot com my two address and cc bcc click by two address I don't want to add. I'll just add here. And payload is going to the body. Now that's it. We don't need anything. We just save. And this is the configuration. Okay. One more setting we need to do, and it's that should be the kind of configuration here. In the advanced section, in the properties, so within line, click on it, and you need to add this property. Mail dot SMTP start ELS enable into value called true. Okay, so make sure that you are passing this property finish. Now your configuration is done. Okay, now here we went in advanced section. In general section, we pass our host name, port name, user, and password we have created for the this is SMTP app password. Okay, not your Gmail username and password. Is it okay? You save everything, go to message flow and running. That is the positive, it will take time to run. You can see it's deployed now. Okay, so let's go ahead to the postman. Let me go to the postman. First, it will be a request for HTTP. So it's the same thing. And if I figure it now, the campaign, yeah, you can see that the proper whatever payload you have is done with that. And you see the email also. You see, segments, it's just welcome. That's all from this session. Okay, it's a simple but very useful use case where in the notifications we use this use case. Okay, I hope you liked it. You know. Yeah, if you like it, please hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe the channel, and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of the new session. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.